Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 125 for the XAR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. This is part 4 of the video series for creating a fixed position button. And in this video tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to add a link to those fixed position buttons. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the previous document open from the previous tutorial. And once you have that open, let's go ahead and go to Web Properties. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Shift W. That's going to bring up the web properties and then we're going to click on HTML code body section. So go ahead and left click on that. And this is going to bring up our HTML code for those button images. And what I'm going to do first actually is I'm going to space out some of this code so that it's easier for you to view the information on screen. Now you don't have to actually do this, but I'm doing it so that it won't be so much confusion with everything cluttered together. So with that said, Let's go ahead and add our first link. You want to make sure that you have your cursor right before the, the first image tag here, which is the Twitter button. And we're going to go ahead and write angle bracket, the letter A, which stands for anchor. So you have to use an anchor tag to create an HTML link. Hit the space bar key and then write href, which stands for hyperlink reference, and then write equals. And then in quotes, we're going to write the web address that we want to link to. In this case, I'm going to write HTTP colon sort forward slash forward slash www dot and then Twitter dot com forward slash XR template because that's our website address on Twitter and make sure that you have that in quotes, write an ending angle bracket and that's going to be our starting tag for the link. Then we're going to click after the Twitter button image tag and we're going to write the closing anchor tag, which will be angle bracket for slash the letter A and angle bracket. And that's how you close that image or button so that with, in other words, let me say it a little differently. I don't want to confuse you. The image tag is in between the opening and closing anchor tag. And because it's in between there, it's going to behave as a link. Okay. In other words, that button is going to function as a link to the URL or hyper reference link of twitter.com forward slash XR template. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Hit apply. OK. And then I'm going to hit F5 and I'm going to preview this. And I'm going to actually preview it in my web browser here. And you'll notice if I place my cursor over the Twitter button that it changes. But if I place it over the other two buttons, it does not change. So if I were to click on this Twitter button now, it's going to take you to our Twitter page. As you can see, it takes you to our Twitter page on the internet. So that's how you link to a website using the anchor tag from HTML. So let's go ahead and go back to XR Web Designer. And I'm going to repeat this process again, just in case you didn't understand everything that I said. So go ahead and hit Control Shift W. And we're going to go again to the HTML code body section. And we're going to add in another link. So as we did before, we'll start with the opening anchor tag, which is the letter A in the angle bracket. And then we're going to write href equals. And then in quotes, we're going to write the web address that we want to link to. So I'll write HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.blog.com. And I'm just making this one up. Actually, I'm not actually going to link to the blog because I don't know the web address off the top of my head. And then write angle bracket at the end there. And then right after the image tag, we're going to write our closing anchor tag, which will be angle bracket for slash the letter A, and then ankle bracket. Okay. And then hit OK. Hit apply. Okay. And hit F5. And if you preview this in your web browser again, if we place our cursor over the blog, blog uh, fixed navigation button, and we click on that, it's going to take you to blog.com. So I think you get the general idea of how this works. You know, really simple uh, process, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the last one here just so that you can get some practice in. Uh, again, you know, if you're not understanding this, don't 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 feel like you can't leave a, a, a comment and ask a question and I'll do my best to assist you. But again, to finish off the last image here, you just write angle bracket, the letter A, href equals in this case, I'm going to write in the YouTube address information. So youtube.com forward slash XR template. 
in quotes, then an angle bracket, and then close that with the ending angle bracket and hit OK, apply, OK, F5. And if you preview this in your web browser and you click on YouTube, it'll take you to our YouTube page. OK, so that's pretty much how you link to web pages outside of your website. But if you want to link within your website to a specific page, that's a little different. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that before I end this tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is go to your page and layer gallery, which I already have open, and I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Shift W to bring up our web properties. And this time, under the part where it says page file name, we're going to give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to call it new page. All together, no spaces, all lowercase. OK, and if I hit apply, you're going to notice if you pay attention that in our page and layer gallery, it's going to change or add a name to the thumbnail. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. Hit apply and you'll see now that it says new page in the page and layer gallery. OK, so in theory, you don't have to actually go to web properties. If I were to change the, the page file name here, I change it to next page you'll see that it automatically changes the page file name and the website properties. So you don't have to go to your web properties if you don't want to. You can just click in here in the thumbnail and change it to what you want to. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it at next page and hit apply and apply those changes. And after that, let's go ahead and go back to the main page here. Okay, and when we go back to this page, to the, the index page in our page and layer gallery, Let's go ahead and click on HTML body section. And the way that you would change it is you would write in your domain name. So for example, if your site was the same as ours, ours is XARTemplate.com. Then for example, we're going to use the YouTube button, even though this is not what we would use if we were linking to a page on our website. But we're going to assume that this is a page within our website and not a page on YouTube. So what you would do is you would highlight the the URL in this case and change it and we would write in http colon forward slash forward slash www.xartemplate.com then forward slash and then we would write in the page file name which is next page and then you write dot htm so in order to link within in a page within your website you would just write whatever your dot com is forward slash and then the page file name that you're linking to. And always remember to write htm, dot htm. I didn't write htm, I wrote hm. So make sure that you put htm on the end. And that stands for hypertext markup language. So page file name, period, htm. And that's all in quotes, the whole URL. So if you do that and you were to hit OK, hit apply, you would now have a link to the inside of your web page. Now you're not gonna actually be able to click on that and, and view it because you have to upload your website to the internet. So if I preview this and I were to click on that link, it's not gonna actually work. As you can see, we get an error page here saying that, hey, this page does not exist. Uh, you need to make sure that you have everything set correctly. So make sure that you upload your website to the internet and that's when you're gonna actually be able to see a link to that page working to the next page. So nonetheless, I hope that this video tutorial was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.